So we've spoken about frequency tables, um, but this is a video about grouped frequency tables. And why group frequency? Because we are looking at groups. Eh? So a score, let's say on an English test between 0 and 20. Yeah, between 20 and 40, 40, 60, 60, 80. And then as you can see here, the frequency. And the question you're gonna get about this type of table is to calculate an estimate of the mean. And that is a little bit funny because calculating implies something very specific, something very accurate. And an estimate means like, what is it about? Yeah? So to me, calculating an estimate, that is a bit of a paradox isn't it? So why do we calculate an estimate of the mean? Now, it's not that I'm going to guess now, no, because I have to calculate it. Well, I cannot calculate the exact mean. Why is that? Because I don't know the exact pieces of information. I don't know the exact data. The only thing I know is that between a score between 0 and 20, two people are in that group. Between 20 and 40, three people. But I don't know if those people have a 30, a 39, and a 38 as a score, or perhaps a 21, a 23, and a 32, yeah? The only thing I know is that three people belong to that group, yeah? That's why my final answer, my mean, is going to be an estimate, because I don't know the exact values, yeah? But I still have to calculate it. How do I calculate it? Well, the best thing I can do with grouped frequency tables is to find what we call the mid value of each group, okay? So we have to find the mid value, the value exactly in the middle of each group. And how do you do that? Well, you take the lowest value, plus it by the highest value, and then you divide it by two, yeah? So zero plus the highest value here is gonna be 19, okay? because 20 doesn't belong to this group, divided by uh, 2, and that's going to be 9.5. And I do that for all my groups, yeah? So my mid value, I'm just going to say the mid here, is 9.5. If I do that here, so 20 plus 39 divided by 2, it's going to be 29.5. 49.5, 14 uh, plus 59 divided by 2, and 69.5. So that's the best I can do. I'm going to take the mid value and then say, okay, two people have a score of 9.5. Plus 29.5 times three, yeah, because I'm going to say three people have a score of 29.5. Yeah? And so I treat it now as a frequency table, as a normal frequency table. But that's why we are calculating an estimate of the mean, because we do not know the exact values of the information. But I can continue now. I can say 9.5 times two, yeah, or if you like, 9.5 plus 9.5 plus 29.5 times 3 plus 49.5 times 4. Of course, it doesn't fit. I'm going to continue on this side then. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I just write too big. 69.5 times 1. 69.5. One okay divided by so how many pieces of information do I have now even before I start calculating I do estimate roughly what I expect my answer to be so what is roughly the average score now what is the mean score well most values are here in the middle eh? so what, what should I say 14 yeah about 14 okay yeah it's always important to to estimate your answer at the beginning uh, how many pieces of information do I have how many people's score do I have Two, five, six, ten. I have ten people score, okay? Um, divided by ten, and that equals, if you work it out, 375 divided by ten. So that would be a 37.5 as an estimate of the mean score, okay? And indeed, that's roughly what I expected. There. I said, well, about 40, 37.5. That makes complete sense to me then, yeah? Because unfortunately, I know that some students they do all of this correctly, but then they divide it by one, two, three, four, because there are four groups. They say they divide by four, 375 divided by four, uh, and then they say, well, my answer, uh, the mean score is 93.75. That's what they're gonna tell you me. But how is that possible, guys? Because the 93.75 is more than the highest score, yeah? Ah, oh, silly mistake. There are four groups, but those are 10 pieces of information. Okay, I hope that was useful. Explainingmaps.com for more resources. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.